Okay, here we're back. Nuclear mission wing. Actually, this is EMT film um, embossed micro thin that I make, and I adhere to a foam. And what we're going to do here is get a Wind River cutter, cut these out, and then at the same time, we're going to take a few pieces of my pearl curl wings the cutter and I also have another piece right here that's gonna get sandwiched right in there so how we're gonna do this is first I'm gonna see where that'll go this is a size four a size four hook uh, the Wind River Cutters, I believe the large one is made for a 6. The reason I utilize the 4 hook is that extra 2 millimeter for the foam that's going to go on the bottom. So what I got right here is going to be the wings. That's hot, hot melt glue. You can see right there, I put a little bead up on there. Now, what I'm going to do is get a little bit right here one line here here and just smooth it around get that adhered to there and just as fast I'll do it this way so you can see and I can make sure I got it centered I'm gonna do the same to this piece right here let me turn it back up now putting this glue on is gonna help get that back down she's gonna want to turn a little bit on you cuz that hooks heating up and I just squeeze this together at the same time I'm gonna pull my wings apart just a little bit winging material now you can see it's gonna want to melt up that way bring it back down if you do this on the bench the wings won't move as much I'm doing this up here so you can see it it's a whole lot easier for me to photograph it a little bit. Let's get back under there. Now that's going to take a little bit to set up with that foam. If you wanted to put some epoxy on there, you could. But believe it or not, this hot milk glue, once she cools down, I'll come back here in a second and I'll show you how it okay I'm back you can see how these cutters the way they make them these Wind River that's a little square right there let's trim that off just a little bit that way or you could pre-trim it up however you want it right there if you want to put some legs on there you could leave the space back a little bit this usually is pretty good now to adjust the wings pull that back where you can see it I'll pull it up and this side I'll trim just a couple of these here now if you want to put lines on there with markers I get sharpie pens at office supply store real cheap I think it's uh, office max you can get whole packs all colors but now for the most part we'll zoom you back out Yeah, that's pretty good way she is. You can see that nice coloration. Plus, you got that pearlescent underneath there. Fish really won't see that too much if it happens laying sideways, which I doubt. Because I've fished them. Now you can see this hot milk glue. That's going to stand up pretty good. If you want to use a wider gap hook there for bass, that'd be great. Just keep it a finer wire such as a stinger and you could glue further back into your tail that's still setting I've actually with crabs patterns with these wind river cutters and crawfish I've made them up where they get nice and firm nice and fishable and you don't even have to tie 
like I said, if you want to mix up a little epoxy, go ahead and do it. Just have your pieces ready. You can do up about a dozen at a time. There you go. All right, at Wind River Cutter Design Flies, take two. You've seen the other one. Excuse me, I'm going to have to sneeze here in a second. But EMT phone, embossed micro thin. You can get the cutters themselves. Excuse me, and cut them, or uh, they're quite spendy. And if you're only tying up a dozen flies a year, the way I figure it as a shop owner, they can get mad if I sell them that way. And especially since I sell the foam, you can get the foam from me, you can get the cutters. Now, we're also going to get into something here. I manufacture pearl curl wings right here. So, this is going to be a no tie fly or low tie fly variation of that last one. Let me go ahead here. I'll grab a couple of these. This one's just going to have one wing. And I'll get them all arranged where I want them. So they're nice and even. Pull them back and forth. One wing's all they need. If you want to get two wings in there, that's fine and dandy. Showed you the last one that you can hot melt glue it. Well, you can also super glue. Super glue holds good, good to foam and holds pretty good to the thread. When you get these wings tied in there, get my light up just a little bit, it's in my way. Once you get these wings in here, it's not going to spin a whole lot on you. Now you want to make sure you got these wings just about in half. You can see how it's kind of smooth in the middle the way I make them. Special patent pending process. Get this one back to here. Going in with one bunch on this. And we'll splay those out just like they were deer hair. You can adapt a lot of patterns to some of these products. Or just about any product. Use your imagination as part of fly tying and that's what I wanted to do utilized when I wrote my book back in the 90s when the publisher didn't come out with it and I just sat back waiting for the web to come up where I can give away patterns such as I am here on YouTube or if you bought the book to help support veterans even better alrighty now I've taken two of these pieces Wind River I've cut the scrap to equal the bottom so now you just super glue this up. I only really need one side here. Get this one here onto there. As you can see, I could have brought the thread back just a little bit. And I'll wake up that glue on there. Fumes will get into the letters in the thread. Hold them together for a second. What I didn't do, cut my thread, but you know what? That's not really going to unravel because that thread is super glued, right? So now, pull the tail up, and we can see that one right there. Let me, great way to view it. I learned this back when I was tying midges. Stretched all the way out right there. Let me go ahead and bring her back. Might have to bring it into focus.